the Ithaca Informer, and today I'm going to be talking about the history of the Henry St. John's building. And here's an interesting history fact for all of you. The Henry St. John's building was named after the third mayor of Ithaca, New York. In Ithaca, um, back in the 1910s and 20s, the population was growing and they needed a school. And it was an element and this building behind me it was an elementary school for 60 years and it opened in 1925 and now the going a little bit farther into the information of history it was changed into offices and apartments in 1983 and the person that actually helped build it was Arthur N. Gibbs he was a part of the Cornell architectural program at Cornell. <laughs> now for the person that helped design and build this place, his name was Arthur N. Gibbs. He went to school at the University of Cornell and he was in the program of architectural architecture. Ar <laughs> he has trouble saying it guys but everyone does sometimes um, but what he's trying to say here is that this building was built by Arthur N. Gibbs an 1890s um, early graduate at Cornell's architecture program who has practiced building in Ithaca for more than 50 years the Henry St. John's building is a landmark in Ithaca New York um, it's a very important part of history Another part of this building, another part of the information that you need to know about this is it's a gothic style building with the Ithaca, with New York State's logo on the side of the building. Okay, now on the inside, you may see this as, you may say that it looks really old on the outside, but they did a great job on the inside to make it look new. Yes. And... They have like rooms from, I believe, 101 to 110 uh, or something like that. But it's all uh, either businesses or uh, yeah, it's businesses. Yo, what is up, guys? I'm actually Adam's cameraman for the Ithaca Informer. Nice to see you guys. Um, I actually uh, know what's behind these doors. It's actually a really old gym, actually from way back in the school. If you guys are wondering how I know, I actually used to go to summer camp here, and the camp takes place inside the gym, and we used to just sit in there every day. The gym is really old. The architecture is really old. It's actually really nice. Uh, he actually works uh, a little bit below the building. So that's a little bit old down that way too. Um, but I hope we covered enough information for you guys. Adam, do you have any last words before we end the video about yeah. the building itself? Um, if you have any more, inf if you have any questions, um, just you know, send a message to Ithaca Informer on Instagram. Alrighty.